We are back with more Let's Play Spire of the Dragon. In the last episode, we uh, went to Jack Hughes and uh, got that guy done. That was the boss of this world. I decided to do it ahead of time. And in the last level of this world, Dark Passage, my favorite level of the franchise. And yet I still don't remember all that much about it. Like, I get frustrated, I might rage, but I still really like it. I think it has a really good gimmick going on. Awesome music. Level placement is just really cool. This is actually the technical first level of the universe, but just save it for last. There is one thing I did find kind of annoying though, that's these guys. You have to burn or flame or charge these, those guys. I think they don't have to, but if you don't, they'll randomly have their lights turn off, and when the lights turn off, bad things happen. You probably already figured out what those bad things are, but I'll let you figure it out for yourself. And it involves deadly monsters that want to kill you. Seventy dragons now. But to be fair, the game did offer some light sources around, so they weren't always swinging monsters if the guy screwed up. What if, if you were going around a corner, you might get in a cheap scenario that you can't save yourself from. The game realized that was a flaw. I tried to fix the rest of the ability. They didn't want to get rid of the gimmick because it was a good idea. It's one of those things that's good on paper. This right here is one of those examples. I can see a little lamp turn right there. As easy. <laughs> As easy. I get it. As in the word easy. It's another one of those things I didn't get until I said it loud. I really like this game. I like all the spirals. Even the Legend of Spiral and Spiral Letters. These guys have to charge, get the metal plating, plot plating. They're going down. Whoa, whoa, we can't kill these guys until the light comes back on. Some music. Careful here. It's alive. I need it. Got that many. And I don't have spark this anymore, so not only do I have to be careful, but I have to grab all the gems myself. And I have to get back carry. Seventy-two. We're starting to get somewhere. Somewhere important. North Carolina. I've never been to North Carolina, so I can't say. I don't know if there's down here, but I need the hits, so you know what? Let's do this thing! See, there is another fly you can point out this on that is, like every other level, it respawns the enemies when you die sometimes. It does this in this one more than others. It's really frustrating because, you know, the lantern guy is flaw that kind of feeds into it. So this, that's just the little thing. Get back up if you decide you didn't want to do this. There's more lanterns around here. Very convenient. Still look Love it! You know, back in the 6 I would actually try to face a lot of my speedruns around this level. Because I like it so much. Because you don't know what ISX is, it's a speedrunning tournament for Star of the Dragon. If I ever got this game, I would try to get something based around Dark Passage. At least if I thought it would be long enough to get there. And we'll these. Another media form that is supporting it because I don't think this guy's ever going to turn his lantern on, so. Your proxy jump from Spyro. This guy has, doesn't even know how to turn his lantern on, so he has to do it for him. Yeah, so 
life, so I don't need it, but I really want that extra life. What if the stats is about 500, 3 out of 5, so I'm still missing 2 dragons. Still doing a lot better than I've been doing in most levels in this world, if you think about it. your sparks will come back. Just double check it. Yeah, okay, so we're ready. We're ready to go to Nork Nexus. That is the last world of the game. And I'm not going to rip you guys off by only getting one level this time. I think we got through this fast enough that we can fit another one in. Especially now that I have, since I have the unlimited upload and recording time with when I'm by myself. Some of the commentators that have topic and all that stuff. I'll let people decide if they want me to be on myself or not. I think it's better with commentators, so that's just me. I'm still gonna keep commentators in a good amount of time. And I'm gonna try to get better at this where I'm trying to get commentators that know more about the game. I would get X-Praiseman and Yogi to help me out with Banjo 2 lot because they knew a bit more about the game than I did. Yeah, they did end up going really good friends. Yogi already was. X-Praiseman became a friend over that time because we really started enjoying each other's company and friends became friends. Gems. Can I see this dragon? Let's keep Delvin. Recognize that name? It's Mr. Toxel. Oh, wait, never mind. No, it's not. Mr. Toxelot is Nestor. I know I've seen Delvin around somewhere before, though. Yes, that dragon was just explaining. A lot of the dragons here are actually ones you've already rescued, but they get recaptured. The one that always stood out to me is Thomas. Um, he's in this level. Thomas was in Arson's world. The levels weren't already difficult. Um, this is definitely where the difficulty spike comes in. We're in Nasty's land now. He doesn't want us here. But he's 
bad, so we do it anyway, so ha ha ha! Ha! Guys, I forgot something. 
locks chest in this level. Lock doesn't mean jack squats. You can break the chest open with the TNT or the barrel. I forgot that. It makes sense when you think about it. But it... I'll go down this route yet, that's the way out. Down the purple road. Get the gems. There's 400 gems in this level, so. Oh, back up. Back up, Wally. That wasn't the way out? Okay, this is the way out. I stand correctly. Uh, that was everything? Yep, that was everything. You cannot do exit level in these levels. I should say that right now. If you cannot do exit level, you have to go to return home. You will be very mad at yourself if you do the exit level method. Because it will not count it as actually finishing the level. Even if you're right at the end, it will not count it. And yeah, um, just so I can start off the episode with the next level, I will do this for you guys. And because I have extended up load times and recording times when I'm by myself. I have 16 minutes left on this tape, guys. Let's get this done! I think I can get the trial hopper pretty quickly, actually. Not as hard as everyone says it is. At least not for me. It's not that it isn't difficult, just not as difficult.
out is if you hit the save point again the enemies on the spawn. I think that's how it goes. So well not even Lifesaver against these bullets. You're still on a better bet just jumping over there. It's really helpful. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. It is helpful in this level. Jumping is not an option. That's your next. That's the next light you're playing on. That's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Let's go. Remember, you have to go through the next portal, you cannot hit pause and then exit. You have to go through the portal. <laughs> 